uh, major, minor, and dominant. So from the sixth string, you can make a major chord like this. So that's almost like, a, like an E shape here, you know, and move it up so that the root is on your sixth string. But you can also do it like so. So that is the six, uh, four, three, and two strings, and you can follow the example uh, in the PDF, right? There's your major. Now here is your dominant seven. In the same place, that's using the six, uh, four, three, and two strings. And here's your minor chord. Using the same, the same position, using your six, four, three, and two strings. In this case, in the major case, I'm using fingers one, two, three, and four. In the dominant seven, I'm still using fingers one, two, three, and four, but I've dropped my seven to a flatted seven here. So kind of like a, a D shape on the uh, D shape on the uh, uh, four, three, and two strings, right? And then the minor chord, you can use two fingers. I use two fingers because we're getting the root off of the sixth string, and then I'm getting my uh, the remains of oh, remainder of my notes off of the 4, 3, and 2 strings, just like we did on the other chords there. So in all three cases, I'm skipping over the 5 string. Cool, right? A major 7, dominant 7, and minor chord from the 5 string now, uh, even easier. So I'm going to use the 4 inside strings here, and I can use uh, 2 fingers, 1st and 3rd finger, or I can use all 4 fingers if I want to. So my major chord... This is a C, C major, so I've got one, five, one, three here happening. Right. Now what I want to do is take that one, that one C, drop, and drop that down to a B. It's kind of like a D shape right here. So that would give me my one, five, seven, and three. And that's what I need for that major seven. Now the dominant seven, even easier, and all I got to do is lift up my naughty finger here. Dominant seven right there. To get a minor, though, what I want to do is put my uh, pinky finger on the one, uh, five, and one again. And now the three, which was here, I'm going to drop that guy. So I've got my second finger on that uh, E flat. That's like an A minor shape, but uh, an A minor shape. Uh, and then move that up so that your root note is going to be on the... Uh, on the five string here, and it's going to be just like your A minor is here, right? On the root would be the open A string. Think about like if you could move that A string, uh, move that A note up uh, to wherever you want to, still, still the root here. So there's your C minor again. C major, C major seven, right? C dominant seven, and C minor, just like so.